Okay, guys, Panzer J back here in Operation Champ. We're up to turn number 12, January of 42, um, the U.S. KMT. So before I get into the U.S. turn here, just real quick, some housekeeping from uh, turn number 11. So I had lend leased uh, Australia and Air Transport and the Canadians a destroyer. Uh, last turn, and Didier had pointed out that because both are members of the Commonwealth, they share the same uh, lend-lease limits. So I was only able to lend-lease to one member of the Commonwealth. So talking it over with Hambone, we decided to uh, lend-lease uh, Anzac, the air transport, and then that took away the uh, destroyer to the Canadians. So that saved me six. So with that six, I placed a third light carrier on the production chart for three and then saved the other three. So that at the end of the turn, I had banked $93 total. Okay, so that is the housekeeping. So now we're on to uh, the U.S. We're going to do our tech rolls. Always fun. Um, we're going to go for advanced artillery, which is at stage two at a seven or higher. Heavy bombers at stage two, nine or higher. Long range aircraft stage two, seven or higher. Advanced sub stage three, eight or higher. Strategic rockets stage one, nine or higher. And improved factory stage three, seven or higher. So those are going to be our six. So let's go ahead with advanced artillery first at a seven or higher. And a seven, so we hit that. How about, uh, let's see what's next. Heavy bombers, nine or higher. A five, we missed that. Long range aircraft, seven or higher. A four, we missed that. Advanced subs, eight or higher. A nine, we got that. Uh, strategic rockets, nine or higher. A seven, we missed that. And improved factory, seven or higher. And a nine, we got that. So three out of six, which is actually outstanding uh, for the US. So let's move advanced artillery up to stage three. We finished off advanced subs, and we finished off improved factories. So there you go. Okay, so on to purchases. I said I had 93 last turn as the U.S., but then the Germans convoyed me over here in C-Zone 72, and I believe because of the two lines, he convoyed me for five. So uh, if I'm wrong about that, and it was only three, then I'll just uh, save that two bucks. But I'm pretty sure he hit me for the full five. So that then left me 88 uh, to spend this turn. So what we're going to do is we're going to do an air base. And because I have improved construction, I can do two, uh, two uh, stages in one turn. So we're going to do an air base for six. And we're going to do a major uh, dockyard for eight and both of those are going in midway so that's 14 we're finishing off the three light carriers on the production chart for nine so that's 23 we're going to start construction on another light carrier for three that's 26 we're purchasing two jets for 12 a piece and i ran out of uh the painted us one so i got to paint this gray one but that is a us one so that's 24 for the two jets so that's up to 50. A Marine for 4, 54. A Militia for 2, 56. And I had both a Destroyer and a Sub here because I wasn't sure what was going to happen with Tech. But since I hit the Tech, um, we're not purchasing Destroyers. So take that off. We're going ahead and purchasing four Advanced Subs. And for Improved Construction, that drops them down a dollar. So they're 24. So that's up to uh, 80. And then eight bucks for the air transport that we're going to lend lease to Australia again. So spending the full uh, 88 for the U.S. For the KMT, we have nine and we're buying three cavalry again. And those are our purchases. So now on to combat. We actually have two combats. It was going to be more than that. But if you guys watched Madman Dan's uh, last uh, video, he got extremely lucky with his kamikaze attacks, and that kind of uh, upset some of my plans in the Pacific. So we need to cut back on a couple of the attacks we were going to do. 
So instead, we've got one attack here in Chile, and uh, Category Cow has a militia. So into Chile, we're going to take three of our infantry from uh, Gran Chaco, as well as one artillery. Uh, the second attack is here in Patagonia. We're going to take the other infantry from Gran Chaco down. We're going to take the cavalry from Buenos Aires. And our fighter up here in the Amazons is going to come down one, two, three. And those are going to be our two um, attacks. But I guess we do have a third combat. So we're going to do some um, escort duty. So this destroyer up here in 21 is going to come down one, two, three, and go on escort duty there in uh, 72. And that should be it for our attacks. We are not attacking in China. Um, a board gaming bro is putting up quite the defense. Um, I was hoping to actually go after a couple of territories, but he kind of spread his units out a little bit and covered all his bases. So I think we're just going to uh, um, regroup in China and, and see what happens. Okay, so let's get to attack number one. We'll do uh, Chile here first. So we've got three infantry and artillery. Now it does look like mountain territory. So uh, my art artillery will be a two at, at a first strike. Um, that's going to pair with one of the infantry to make it a two. And the other two infantry are going to be ones because of the mountain terrain. So let's go ahead and first the uh, first strike artillery at a two. And that misses. Then the one infantry at a two. Oh, got a one. So we got a hit. So his militia at a two or less. And an eight misses. So we go ahead and we take that with uh, three infantry and one artillery. Now the second battle down here in uh, Patagonia um, does not look like I'm crossing into mountains at least where the roundel is. So I'm going to say no mountain terrain where I'm coming from both Gran Chaco and Buenos Aires. So the fighter's a six, the cavalry should be a three, and the infantry a two, and his infantry is defending at a four. So let's go ahead with the fighter first at a six, a 12 misses, the cavalry at a three. Ah, there you go, we got a three, so good job. Let's just do the infantry anyways, and a four that misses, but we should have got our hit. The cavalry came from Buenos Aires, so should be no issues there. His infantry at a four, and a ten misses. So we should take uh, Patagonia with an infantry, a cavalry, and that fighter came down three, so it should have one movement left. So that was a total of two IPPs. So let's move Germany down to 54, and the U.S. up to 70. And that should be it for combat for uh, the U.S. And again, we're not doing anything with the KMT. So now on to non-combat. Okay, so we're going to take one of these naval transports here in C-Zone 76. And it's going to come over 1 to 75 and pick up this cavalry that's in uh, eastern Mexico and then go back one and drop that cavalry off in uh, the Amazons. Then we are gonna take this naval transport over here off of Gibraltar, and we are at a major port thanks to the British, and we're gonna come one, two, three into 76 and drop both of these infantry off in uh, the Amazons as well. Okay, so then we have, um, let's see, we're going to take this light armor from D or New York, and we're going to rail that down to eastern Mexico. Um, we're going to take this infantry in New York, and he's going to be railed all the way over uh, the other side of the country to San Francisco. 
Then we're also going to have a strategic naval movement. So over here in uh, 76, we have one naval transport left that hasn't moved. So that's going to go, and we're at a port, so one, two, and that fighter isn't on uh, maritime air patrol. So that's two. And then we're going to come all the way over here. And go 3 to 97, 4 to 103, and 5 to uh, 64. Okay. And I believe that is it on the uh, Atlantic side. Okay, so over here in the Pacific, we've got a heavy cruiser down here in South Australia. And it's going to come 1, 2, 3 up to 136 and join those uh, allied ships there. Then we've got um, a destroyer here in 91, and that's going to come up 1, 2, 3, and join that Russian sub there in 97. Then we've got a destroyer off of this fleet card here in 66, and that's going to come up one, two, three to sea zone 40. We also have a coastal sub off of the fleet card here in 66, and that's going to come up one to 59. Okay. And then the entire remaining fleet minus a coastal sub is going to come back one, two to midway. So we'll leave that coastal sub behind there in 66. And the, the guys, the two Marines and the two infantry get dropped off in Midway. Okay. So Madman Dan, when he did his kamikaze, um, I've now got two damaged fleet carriers that were in this uh, fleet here in 66. So those two fleet carriers were carrying two tactical bombers, one each. So the jet fighter and the fighter that was also on those fleet carriers had to land on wake. So now they are going to go uh, from Wake Island, one, two, three, four, and land on Midway. So those two uh, planes there are on Midway Island. We are also going to have this medium bomber in Hawaii go one, two, three, four, land on Midway. We are going to have this fighter in San Francisco, which can move uh, five because of the air base. One, two, three, four, and land on Midway. We are also going to have... Uh, these naval units here in 64, which is five destroyers and two light carriers with two jets are going to come out one, two to sea zone 62 midway there. And I'll go over exactly what's in midway here at the end of uh, the turn. And I think that might be it besides the KMT. I think we're set for uh, the U.S. No other movements there. Okay, let's go ahead and real quick land our fighter from uh, Patagonia. So it came down three. It went Pampas, Gran Chaco, um, Patagonia. So it's going to go up one with its one remaining movement to Gran Chaco. And that should be it for uh, South America. So on to the KMT. So we're going to combine some stuff here to... Uh, uh, give a board gaming bro um, something to think about. So we're going to take uh, one of these two infantry in Shantung, and he's going to come over to uh, Szechuan. Then we're going to take uh, all these cavalry in Shanghai, or Sh Shanghai, I always pronounce that wrong. They're going to come over to Szechuan. So are the four mountain infantry going to come over. And so is this cavalry from Yunnan coming up one to Szechuan. 
and all these cavalry were already there. So, and I'll let you guys know exactly what's in Szechuan here in a minute. Those three militia are already there. So that should be it for uh, the KMT movement. So on to uh, unit placement. So we've got an air base and a major uh, dockyard. And both of those are being placed in Midway. So I'll put those down over here. Definitely going to have to clean that up there. So we've got an air base and a major dockyard there in Midway. Then we've got uh, a light carrier we started production on. So let's put that at stage two of the production chart. Then we've got the three light carriers we finished off. And they are all going to go over here off of San Francisco. Then we've got two jet fighters we purchased. And we're going to put one each on two of the three light carriers. We've got our four advanced subs, and we're putting those off of San Francisco. We've got our Marine, which we're putting in San Francisco. And we've got a militia that we're putting down on Wake Island. And then, let's see, we got our Anzac uh, air transport. It can make its way down, and we'll send it down here. Um, there's nothing in the way. No Japanese ships, no uh, units on maritime air patrol or anything, so that should be able to leave San Francisco and make its way down to Australia. And then finally, for the KMT, we got three cavalry, which we're putting in Szechuan. So all this stuff over here is the stuff i got to add up for uh, the KMT there in Szechuan. Okay. So that should do it for uh, the U.S. KMT. On to collecting uh, income. So the U.S. is now up to 70. Um, we spent everything that we had. So our $12 bonus is 82. And then let's go ahead and do our um, wartime economy. So 82 plus 5. So 85. So that's the lowest we've been in a while. But still not horrible. So 85 for uh, the U.S. and 9 because we spent everything and we're still at 9 for the KMT. So 85 U.S., uh, 9 KMT. So now let's go over a couple of territories here um, and let you guys know what's where. So here in C-Zone 76, we've got two naval transports, three destroyers, and a light cruiser. In the Amazons, we now have two cavalry, six infantry, and a British infantry. In Chile, we have three infantry and an artillery. In Patagonia, we have an infantry and a cavalry. Grand Chaco has a fighter. Okay. And then over in the Pacific, let's start with the KMT. So... Um, really, Szechuan is the only thing that changed. I have just one infantry each in Shantung and Singhai. So in Szechuan, we've got three militia, uh, three infantry, four mountain infantry, and let's see how many cavalry. So we've got three, four, five, six, eight, ten, eleven, thirteen, fifteen. So fifteen cavalry. So 15 cavalry, 4 mountain infantry, 3 militia, and 3 uh, regular infantry. Uh, as, for, as far as U.S. ships, we have a coastal sub in 66 and 59, a destroyer in 57 and 40. On Midway itself, we have 2 marines, 2 infantry, a militia, 2 regular fighters, and a, a jet fighter, and a medium bomber. That's on Midway itself. And in uh, the sea zone there, 62 off of Midway, we've got this entire fleet, which is two damaged fleet carriers with two tactical bombers, one each, a light carrier 
with a fighter, four battleships, a destroyer, two naval transports, uh, six light cruisers, seven heavy cruisers, and with the addition of these, so that's two more light carriers with two jets and five more destroyers. So all together, that's going to be six destroyers, uh, three light carriers, and the two damaged fleet carriers. Um, and off of San Francisco, we've got a Marine and an infantry in San Francisco, a naval transport, three light carriers with two jets, and four advanced subs off of San Francisco. So that should finish off the U.S. KMT, turning things over to uh, Categoric Cow for Italy and Germany.